vellums there and again uh, reiterating those gorgeous designs that we saw from the 12 by 12s 23 pounds and 38 pence 446 843 if you fancy getting those together which many of you are scooting along to the next item this is where we've got a kind of a kind of a duo um, theme going on embossing folder alongside the die but this isn't just any ordinary embossing folder it's got loads and loads of detail in there you've got the little tiny lines as you can see little dots shading dots you've almost got the effect that you have kind of gone in with a tool and it almost embosses imagine this in parchment it would look amazing now of course what you can do first of all is actually die cut your vellum potentially or your paper or card before you actually put it through the embossing folder and of course your die is there to enable you to do so but when you put the two together uh, that is when you get those incredible results because the embossed detail comes through on that fabulous butterfly that you have created and as you can see there you've got all that detail there it's got a little vellum one as well yeah. oh Look at the back. thank it looks you like work, white work on the back oh that is so pretty absolutely beautiful i think that's using some of the vellums that we've got on the it show is as indeed well. yep but look, it doesn't it. look like you've done a load of white work on it beautiful like, yeah, absolutely gorgeous i love the way it kind of just takes shape as well mm -hmm. um so 13 pounds and 49 pence that's where you've got your embossing folder alongside the die it's a very popular item so five six six zero seven eight then you've got your quattro d now your quattro d is exactly what we saw a few moments ago those four different techniques coming together to create the most incredible finished results and you've got two finished designs with these beautiful sunflowers that we saw in action and then that gorgeous kind of spring bloom look which could be created using whatever colors you like to be fair i mean you've got blue on the packaging certainly looks nice in blue when you actually see the finished samples as well and of course the strength of the color is entirely up to you you're adding that detail yourself now of course you've got the embossing folder so that means that you could utilize it in other areas as well so a bit of a metallic cardstock working with that one in the backdrop there using your inks using your pens with these as well just getting some absolutely incredible results and of course as we saw earlier the sunflower an incredible piece of that particular bundle and i love this one's very arty look to this one as well it's almost like a positive and negative isn't it with that letter press look so 53 pounds and 98 pence it's getting you in effect eight different kind of levels because you've got four relating to the sunflower four relating to the spring flowers but you don't have to use them all together just stamp just die cut just emboss just die cut whichever which you want to work with then you can do five zero three four nine nine now moving along this is a layering stencil and this is brilliant because what you've got in this particular one are the different levels of your stencil so you can see on the side here you've got your four stencils but if i flip it over the technique will be explained to you because you work through them in a similar way to the quattro d that we saw a few moments ago layering one color on top of the other until you get that finished look when the design all comes together now again it might be that you just want to pick out certain elements you don't have to use it all together but when you do bring it together it looks absolutely amazing and it comes with the dye as well so it's going to cut out those beautiful flowers and again everything that we saw previously with the um, the stencils the little hearts for the locators they are all there and then ultimately you've got your dye to allow you to cut out that finished piece that you've created 776 680 just 17.99 if you are a club member now of course throughout her demonstrations lovely helen has been working with her eureka we're gonna have a proper good look at this in a few moments lots of you've been taking advantage and lots of you email in about yours as well now this is a brilliant price not only is it brilliant price but you're also getting extras in this as well so you're going to get your main eureka you're going to get your magnets and of course all the benefits that we spoke of with regards to the cover where you're going to attach your stamps so it's going to come with a little carry case which i say a little carry case it's a good size and it's almost like a felted fabric there so it's going to really protect your um, your stamp press or your your eureka gosh that's not easy to say in addition you are going to get your scoreboard and this is brilliant because it's double sided so you can see all of your little kind of lines there helping you create your different fancy folds potentially with your cards and your projects but then if we flip it over you're even going to be able to create things like your boxes and your envelopes and different bits and pieces too so that is included within the bundle as is the tool to allow you to get those score lines in place 
0586619 if you fancy getting hold of that. Now, can I suggest you hop onto the website? Reason being, that's where you'll find everything that we've been chatting about. So lots and lots of goodies to be had. I can't believe we've only got about 15 minutes left wow. on the show. Now, obviously, if you're a club member, you've got that lower price with regards to your U recap, but you can see that you have got reviews there. Um, and uh, if you want to check those out, then you can do five star reviews. But I think the fact that we see so many of them in our studios, Helen, from different guests coming in, Absolutely. representing different companies. I agree all with the choices that they could do, kind of use whatever tools mm -hmm. they like, but they use the Eureka. Absolutely, I mean, this is something, as I said to you, that I have on my craft desk all the time. I'm never without it because it's so versatile. Um, I like to say that it's very basic level. It is a stamping precision press. That's what I use it for the most, but there is so much more to the Eureka. So um, as Hayley was commenting on, when you get a little um, pouch to keep it in, like a little clutch um, case, very posh. I always like it. It's like when you get a handbag and it's got its own bag. Oh, yes. I always think yeah. something's a bit posh when it's got its own little bag to put stuff in <laughs> um, so this is what and I've had mine for quite a few years now and okay it's got a bit of glitter on it and stuff like that but <coughs> what is the important part is that it keeps my Eureka tidy okay or at least it's not clean it keeps it safe because as we've already discussed <laughs> mine is very dirty um, so what happens when you get it first again like I was saying if you've never seen one of these before at its basic level if we just pop down some card here you're going to get one magnet now I've popped two in but one is good enough so let's just use the one you do get two magnets oh though, you do you? Yeah, oh, sorry, oh okay yeah. perfect yeah. sorry I was I was thinking you get the one. Oh, um, I think I'm, I'm not sure mm. I'm not sure yeah, one bar magnet, I thought so, I thought but I just have two because I find out a bit easier. Okay. It's, it's up to you, uh, 